Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of In the Blue Paint. Uh, this week I want to talk a little bit about the games, as well as a trade that just happened. Alright, here we go. Let's talk about the trade, because that's the big news in Leafs Nation right now. So, the Leafs started off their rebuild by sending Cody Franzen and Mike Sanrelli, both expiring contracts to the Nashville Predators, for a first-round pick, Brandon Lepesic and Ole Okunen. Now, Ole Okunen was not necessarily uh, something that the Leafs were looking to acquire. I mean, he's more of a contract coming back that helped them deal get done because of money and cap issues. Uh, but overall, the Leafs did pretty well in getting a first-round pick and uh, what from all accounts, seems like a good prospect for two expiring contracts. Now, last week I talked a little bit about what I thought some of the Leafs' uh, trades were going to be or what I thought they could get back. And uh, I had said I thought Cody Franza could bring a first and a prospect. Now, clearly that didn't happen in this trade. He was probably, it was Cody Franza for a first and then Mike Sandrelli for the prospect in this deal, really, with Ole Okunen as an addition. Um, but I still think that the Leafs made out pretty well. I mean, they weren't going to be able to re-sign Cody Franzen unless they shed a lot of salary at the deadline, and that was a big risk, because what if you got to the deadline and you couldn't trade Franzen for anything worthwhile and you couldn't shed enough salary that you could sign him? You know, so they've maximized that asset. Um, Mike Santarelli... Could you got a little bit more from if you hadn't included in this package? Maybe. But I think by packaging them together to a team that wanted them, you're able to get a better prospect and a better pick than you would have if you've traded them individually. Um, the Leafs still have a lot of other pieces that they can trade at the deadline, so I don't think the moves are finished yet. Um, Winnick is another exciting piece, but you can go back last week and look at my video about some of the trades I thought the Leafs were going to try and make. Um, of course, Ole Okunen is now a piece that they can try and move, though I don't think he's worth very much. He was basically an add-on in this trade as a cap dump. Um, but, you know, there are rumors floating out there that he might be tried to be moved at the deadline. Um, if you can get anything for him, that'd be good. I mean, or he plays on the team and he fills a roster spot for the rest of the year. And his contract expires at the end of the year, so it's not like it's a long-term detriment to the team anyways. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what happened on the ice this week. So the Leafs played three times. They played the Rangers, the Islanders, and they played the Habs last night. And they got one point, which is good for the tank. Uh, Joffrey Lupo was injured, so that's not so good in terms of trying to move him because he's getting injured again. Um, but again, it's also like water is wet, sky is blue, Joffrey Lupo is injured. Uh, he just has bad luck. Um, hopefully, he'll be... I think he's supposed to be out a week, so hopefully he's back before the trade deadline because although I think it'll be difficult to move him at the trade deadline, it still would be nice to see what you could get for him. Um, there should be teams interested. He's very talented when he stays healthy, and he could help a team in a playoff run if they can afford him. Or if, like in this trade, they send some cap back, a player that maybe they don't need or has an expiring contract that they're trying to get rid of that they can upgrade with Lupo. Um, anyways, to the games. So, the Leafs scored some goals this week, which was nice. Uh, they scored four against the Rangers, two against the Islanders, and one against the Habs. So, you know, they're finally starting to put some pucks in the net. Uh, but they're also still losing, so that's good if you are part of Tank Nation and uh, believe that they have a chance at Connor McDavid, which I certainly do. Um, I didn't see much of the Rangers game. Um, I did catch some of the Islanders game. It sounded like they battled back pretty well in that game after giving up some early goals. And I did watch most of the Habs game last night, and I felt I thought the Leafs played pretty well last night. Um, you can't say they weren't trying hard or they weren't in the game. They're in the game the whole time. That's all for this week. I don't want to talk too much about what's going on on the ice because it's not that exciting and no one wants to be depressed. Um, but 
the trades are starting to happen. We're getting close to the deadline, so there are some lights on the horizon. Um, I thought the trade today was good. Could we have gotten a little bit more? Maybe. But, you know, that's my opinion. I'm just a fan. I don't I actually talk to GMs, so maybe what they got was the best deal possible. Um, oh, tomorrow I'm going to the Toronto Marlies game at the ACC with a good friend of mine. And I think we might be making a video after the game to kind of give our thoughts on the game, what we saw, and some of the exciting prospects that are coming up in the Leafs organization. All right. See you tomorrow.